Go. Okay. I think it's on us then. Good morning, Facebook people. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Facebook people. <laughs> <laughs> Sternberg audience. Sternberg family? Sternberg family. I like that one. I think Ian's had something more than coffee this morning. <laughs> He's just over there. I got He's no over. excuse. It's just <laughs> a lack of sleep. Okay, that's true. All right, well, it's 10 o'clock in the morning, I think, sometime. And here today we have lots of kittens. Kittens? Oh, so many kittens. These are snakes. I get so confused sometimes. I were calling them <laughs> earlier when I was getting them out. Like, come here, kitty, kitty. It's okay. <laughs> Tell my kid. I'm like, give me your paws. So it's okay. <laughs> so today we have lots of snakes with us, and then there's a turtle over there about to eat Reese. Hello, Hi, you bug. <laughs> we're just having a free for all today. So today for our Facebook Live, we are going to talk about myths. Okay. Okay. So I googled some reptile and amphibian myths. And I kind of focused on bull snakes as well because I didn't know I'd have so many people here to hold my other snakes. Yeah. So I just thought I was going to be holding my bull snake here. So I have them written down and I'm going to read them and then I'm going to tell you a little bit more of the facts and if some of them are just completely ridiculous, So, which some of them are. But to start off, I'm going to introduce. So this is Pretzel and this is Pretzel. No, this is Jake. Jake does stuff here. I'm not sure what Jake does. I'm not sure what Jake okay, does. Okay, cool. It's not just me. So this is Pretzel. She is a great plans rat snake. She has been on the video before. She is kind of our resident baby here. She goes to all of our programs and birthday parties. And she was actually born here at the museum, so we can easily say that she is 20 years old because she was born here. She and I have the same birthday. Yes. One day Jake told me that he, it was his birthday. I'm like, hey, Pretzel needs a birthday too. It's her birthday. <laughs> because Jake loves her so much. I do. So. I do love her very much. And then this little lady right here, we've also seen her on these videos before. This is Ladybug. So Ladybug is a red-eared slider. We got her, mm, I want to say a year ago or so. She is actually albino. She was actually born in captivity, so she was old, I think. That's what they told, said. We named her Ladybug because they called her Lovely Lady. So I just named her Ladybug. She's a weird looking snake. She is a weird looking snake, isn't she? <laughs> <laughs> She's like, what are you guys talking about? <laughs> and this is usually what she does. She just roams around and has fun. And then our little snake, he is only two years old. His name is Jason. He was actually found with a couple other hatchlings in somebody's living room. Actually, one of my and so we've had him since he was a couple days old and we just fell in love with him so we couldn't get rid of him and he's just a big old sweetheart and then we have old lady over here <laughs> this is whippersnapper this is rachel's favorite snake so whippersnapper is a coach whip so we weren't very unique in that name there i don't know who <laughs> named her me okay good job <laughs> so we call her the old lady because she is getting pretty old she is blind in that eye but she's still very special to us. And so we really don't know how old she is. I don't even know how she got here. Yeah, neither do I. But that's, that was before my time. Oh, well. But so we have some myths about whippersnapper here and about the bull snake. I, don't I guess I have one myth about rat snakes, but it's not really fun. <laughs> so to start off, we will talk about our myths about bull snakes. So most of the myths about bull snakes, to me, come in, are about rat snakes. So lots of people think that bull snakes are rattlesnakes. I guess if you don't know your snakes and something is rattling its tail, you're just automatically going to assume it is a rattlesnake. But bull snakes and rat snakes and a lot of other snakes can vibrate their tail all they want. They won't pick it up like a rattlesnake does. They will leave it on the ground and hit leaves and grass and rocks and stuff to try to make themselves sound like a rattlesnake. So lots of people think that they are rattlesnakes. And that being, they think that they can breed with rattlesnakes. Well, they superficially look like they have diamonds on their back. Well, they do, don't they? You have water on your back. <sighs> I gave him a bath to make him happy today. He really likes bath time. He's a really good swimmer. But yes, and I mean, lots of people say um, that he has a... <laughs> you have fun of it? We have Ian now. Um, so I slithered over here. So people say that if a snake has a triangle head that it is venomous, and that's another myth. And he kind of looks like he has a triangle head. It's not nearly as big as some of the rattlesnakes that you would see, but it's not as round as some other snakes. So I suppose I could see that. But with that myth, not all venomous snakes have triangle heads. Coral snakes are pretty rounded as well. And hello. He's like, I want to eat your face. 
They haven't eaten in a while. <laughs> so yes, people think that bull snakes and rattlesnakes can breed. This one is funny to me when I first read it because I obviously have studied snakes. Well, rattlesnakes have live births, and even though it's not in the way humans and mammals do, they just keep their eggs inside of them and they hatch inside of them and then they give birth. Give birth. Ovoviviparous. Thank you. I was not even going to attempt to say that on live camera. <laughs> not even. Thank you. <laughs> but bull snakes lay eggs, so they are not mating together. Another one I have says that <laughs> this goes in you know, conjunction with that. Bull snakes eat rattlesnake eggs. If rattlesnakes don't lay eggs, they're not eating their eggs. They do eat bird eggs, though. So, that's okay. So do we. I am. Sure. Yeah. So I, uh, yeah, can, I can, I can go with that. You know, I like, I do like eggs. That's my favorite food. Is, is, it is really? chicken eggs or something? Yeah. How do you like your chicken eggs? That's a great debate. That's the thing is, I will eat an egg anyway, except raw. <laughs> well, that's probably good. I remember when that was, there was a trend there for a while. I don't know where it came from. I think it came from some movie. Rocky liked to eat rock. lots of... Blend her up the, he would just pour in... Uh, and pour it and drink it. <laughs> yeah. So, one question I get all the time at birthday parties is, do rattlesnakes, I mean, do bull snakes eat rattlesnakes? And do bull snakes keep rattlesnakes away from your home? So, that one is kind of up for great debate because lots of people say that I've seen a bull snake eat a rattlesnake and I've seen a bull snake fight rattlesnakes and stuff like that, which, you know, I'm sure maybe they could fight. But it has not been proven that rat bull snakes will eat rattlesnakes. Isn't that king snakes, maybe? It is king snakes. Good job. He's so smart, guys. <laughs> king snakes, which around here we have the prairie king snake and do we have a pet speckled king snake around this area? Is that further that way? Yeah, there's more cow. They found one. Well, we had California cases. They found one in in Quivera and it was mm -hmm. like a new record, cool. county record there. I want one, but they will eat rattlesnakes. They will eat snakes. And they also eat mice and stuff like that. But bull snakes are more wanting to eat warm-blooded animals, so they like to eat mice, birds, and eggs. But they are opportunistic, so they will pretty much eat anything they want. And when I was doing all this fun research, um, I found out that. Bull snakes don't ha aren't as good at metabolizing their food as rattlesnakes are. <clears throat> so bull snakes have to eat more often, which is being so proven with my other bull snake, Jacob, right now. <laughs> he is six feet long, and he looks at me every single day like, I haven't been fed in a year. Please feed me. <laughs> and so I was going to bring him out today since he is so big, but he ate this morning, so I'm not going to bring him out. Gee, why? <laughs> I don't want him to throw up, <laughs> and I really don't want him to poop on me. <laughs> I would take the throw up over poop. It's it's scary poop. Uh, no, it's it snake vomit is worse. I feel. Well, you know, he just ate it. If it was in there for a couple days, uh, yeah. Then it would be really gross. All right. So that's pretty much the um, back to the bull snakes keeping them away. So I think why most people think that bull snakes keep rattlesnakes away is that they kind of come out during different seasons or different times of the spring. So bull snakes are diurnal, so that means they are out and active during the day, whereas rattlesnakes are nocturnal, so they are out and active at night. So if you see a bull snake and then you don't see any rattlesnakes, you're probably like, oh, this bull snake's keeping that rattles those rattlesnakes away. How nice. It's just because they're not active at the same time. But if you've ever seen rattlesnakes hibernating, there will be bull snakes there sometimes. They've always lived together, not really having any issues with each other. Hello. He's so handsome. There we get the tongue coming up. Yeah, he's got a slow tongue flick right now. Jason's my favorite. He loves bath time. All right. Do you guys know any myths you want to be busted? Let's talk about our coach whip myth. Is that they will use their tail to beat their prey to death. I don't see that <laughs> happening. <laughs> so coach whips, he obviously kind of looks like a little braided whip, doesn't he? He's very pretty. He, she, I just keep jumping back and forth. Whatever. Wait, how far? Did, wait, look at. Look. Look, and then, by the way, so look at how thin the bottom of that tail is. And, and long. he doesn't really, like, see how Pretzel and Jason here are just coiling around us. And Whippersnapper's not really doing that. Well, Whippersnapper would look a lot longer, or looks a lot longer because, you know, yes. he's happens to happens to be on Rachel, who's not... <laughs> who's hobbit size. Who's hobbit size, so, you know... That's why I like Rachel. She's actually the only person who's older than me that's shorter than me, yeah. so I'm cool with it. Rachel's older than you? I think so. That's weird. How old are you? 25. 
Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> anyway, so yes, people think that they will whip their prey to death with their tail. So that's not, they're not whipping it to death with their tail. Um, most snakes that we have here, they're going to thrash. what? Play thrash, kind of. He will thrash. You will get a mouse, and if he was a wild one and thought he needed to kill it, he's just lazy. Let's yeah. be honest. It has to be perfectly in his mouth or he's not having it. But they would read it, eat it against rocks or in this case, against the glass or something, whereas these guys would coil around it to kill it. Mm -hmm. So it's, this would be a non-constrictor. Yes, non-constrictor. And so it's kind of true, but it's not going to whip him to death with its tail. However, if you do get a mean one of those, like that one over there. I'm trying to resist her singing a Vivo song now. Yeah, it seems like that one. No. Oh, God. Yeah. I'm sorry. I shouldn't even it's, have a it, it's, it's in everybody's head. Nobody has to, to even sing it. No. <laughs> All right. So... <laughs> Another one that we've probably discussed is that Go you can forward. tell. Move ahead. You can tell a rattlesnake's age based on how many rattles they and have. There goes Jake. Jake's dying over here. So rattlesnakes, they get a new rattle every time they shed their skin. So I'm not sure if baby ones shed as much as my little baby snakes do, but my little baby snakes will shed about once a month. And as they get older, they shed less. Hello. You're so cute. But they can also lose their rattles. So if they're really long, they get kind of brittle and they will fall off. So if you see our rattlesnakes here, some of them have really long rattles. But that's not an indication. I would say that makes them have, seem like they have shed a lot, which might make them little fatties. That's okay. Like this guy. He, when I got him as a baby, he wanted to eat every single day and he grew like a weed. Mm -hmm. So for a two-year-old snake, he's a lot longer than he looks. He's not nearly as big as my other snake, but he's getting there. What about the myth that snakes are out to get people? <laughs> people are out to get people. people. Yes, people are out to get people. Yes. Um, I'm really going to say a snake doesn't care about you. So Especially in the wild. If you're near them, they're, they don't want to eat you. They don't want to bite you. They just want you to go away. And as I always tell the kids who are afraid of snakes, these snakes think that we are big, ugly, scary, and smelly, and they don't want us to be around them. You don't think that of me, do you? Well, pretzel's special. So these snakes, they like us because we give them food and warmth. So, but if we were to run out into the wild, they'd be like, ew, you smell. Go away. Get out of here. Get away. <laughs> so another one that I always love, even after people hold my snakes, they will say, oh, it's so slimy. Well, like, have you ever watched Indiana Jones? Like, you know, he's so afraid of snakes in the movie. And every time you see a snake, they do, like, gross, slimy sounds. Mm -hmm. Whatever a snake slithers by. Have you ever heard a snake make a sound when, it's, when it moves? No. 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 It's certainly not slimy. that <laughs> gross, slimy <laughs> sound. They are very smooth. Yeah. Well, they're, they they're got shiny. Them. Yeah. And, and yeah. they're shiny, which probably gives off that, that slimy. slimy. Yeah. But no, amphibians are slimy. Frogs and some toads and salamanders, they're slimy. Some people. <laughs> Many people. Many people. <laughs> These are very dry, and even when he's wet after his bath, he's not slimy. All right, what's another one? <laughs> okay, well, there's always the every snake is poisonous. Which not is only annoying. There is. They say poisonous. There's almost no snakes that are poisonous. No, no snakes. I don't even know of a poisonous snake. There is one that one? I know of, the tiger keelback, but he's poisonous, I think, because he eats toads and he gets their poison. Mm -hmm. I don't know where he's from, though. I'm going to bet it's nowhere near here. So if someone ate him, they would get sick and die? I don't think so. Dang. You know, tasty snakes. Snake for supper. Ooh. But. They are not poisonous. Even rattlesnakes are not poisonous. They are venomous. So poison is ingested. So I'm gonna go eat a tasty toad. It's poisonous. Venom is injected. So rattlesnakes have fangs. They bite you. They inject their venom. If they're, you know, feeling like you need the venom. Some snakes won't do that. Like our beautiful copperhead over there. They're mainly known for their empty bites. But if you get bit by one, you always want to be safe. Better safe than sorry. Better safe than dead. I mean, Isn't he beautiful? He's a beautiful copperhead. I love him. Rattles, rattlesnakes don't want to no. use their venom. That takes them. energy yeah. and effort, and you're not food. Yeah. They want to use their venom to get food, so if they bite you, if they have to bite you, typically it's because you're messing with them. You just can't take the warning. Here's a, a question here came up. 
they seem like they like to be held. Do they really like to be held because they're so chill? Are they just being chill or do they really like to be held? Well, I'm warm and Rachel's warm and I guess Jake's warm. So they are like, fuzzy. He's, he's fuzzy. Like I'm one so of they like the now. warmth from us. So even though they have heat in their cages, you know, they're getting it directly from us. And they probably also enjoy being out of their cages and getting to smell some new stuff and explore a little bit. And these guys are typically always out of their cages. If I were to go pick up a water snake for say, he doesn't care that I'm warm. I'm disgusting and I agree. <laughs> that he won't want to be held by me and he will poop all over me and he will try to bite me and it will just be so much fun. How many snakes do we have at the Sternberg? A lot, I would say. <laughs> it's <laughs> vague and confusing. If we want to count rattlesnakes, like what? We don't we have like twenty four species in there? And we got doubles, so we got about doubles. So it'd be like almost fifty. Like and then we probably got another hundred. A hundred snakes? No, this is a good question. What about being bit by a baby rattlesnake? I have that on here. That one, I love that question. Why does that usually end up bad? So that one is one of those that's also kind of up for debate as well as if these guys eat rattlesnakes. So people always assume, here's the assumption, baby rattlesnakes haven't learned how to control their venom so that when they bite you, they're just going to give it all out there. And so that's what makes them more dangerous. That has not been proven by anybody. I assume, from what I've been taught, that baby rattlesnakes are more dangerous because you don't necessarily know that it's a baby rattlesnake. So if they're really tiny and they're hatchlings, they might not have their rattles yet, and they'll have the little end of their tail looking funny, but they can't warn you that they're a rattlesnake. And lots of people think, oh, cute little snake, let me go pick it up, because they don't know that it's a rattlesnake, and they get bit. No, and they can look similar, like a and hog they, yes. nose or so something. So if you have our prairie snakes, which is pretty much our focus here is the Great Plains, they're all pretty much brown, so they blend in very oh, well. Oh, Chandler that asked that question. Hi, Chandler. Hi, Chandler. We miss you, Chandler. Is that Chandler, right? Yep. Okay, cool. Hi, Chandler. But yes. So it's not been proven that they release more venom. Well, plus the fact that they're so much smaller, so they don't have as much venom yes. to start with to inject. And tiny little mouths, yes. If you get bit by a small snake, they can bite you. It's not going to hurt as much as if you get bit by a bigger mouth snake, but they don't have nearly as much area to hold venom, and it's definitely going to be worse to get bit by an older snake that knows what they're doing. Um, what is the longest snake we have? Didn't we discuss that be the western then? Oh, did you re-ask that? Not today. Oh, no, today. It was a different day. Oh. But yes. The longest snake I have is Jacob the bull snake. He's six foot. Jacob snake? And I think probably, <laughs> is it the eastern? Uh, I think the, yeah, the eastern might be longer downstairs, and it's probably eight feet. Yeah. They can, and they can get pretty big. Pretty big. That's terrifying. I love it. How she just loves her yep. to be strong. <laughs> They're pretty chill. So, yeah, that's a good point. Um, I, I don't know if this was Curtis that was making this point, but... Uh, is it just the server? Yeah. Um, you know, Alicia and her staff and volunteers and a lot of us spend a lot of time making sure these animals that we use for education and outreach are really well socialized mm -hmm. so they can be used in programs because we don't want... People going out. Yeah, yes. animals that are easily spooked or frightened because, you know, when you're in front of a bunch of kids... I'm that person. I'm easily spooked. Yeah, I'm often spooked and frightened. It's true. Yes, gosh. I don't know what Jake it has had, had to keep me from bolting a couple of times yes. during programs. I'm going to go. Caused you okay. to bolt a couple of times. Um, I don't know, probably. Did you do the Another program? one that I had is that snakes are mostly tail. Oh, it was Laura. Thank you, Laura. It was Laura. Yeah, you never that. know. Laura, you were in disguise. I didn't <laughs> notice who you were. So since little whippersnappers All out here. to Dr. Laura Wilson for, for that really thorough explanation. Thank you. So people think that snakes are mostly tail. So actually, his tail doesn't start until right here. And coach wives actually have longer tails than most. Mm -hmm. That's all tail. That's all tail. The rest of it is all body. I don't know. Where's pretzels? This is always my fun question. Where's their butt? <laughs> so there's her butt right there. Hold on, hold on a second. There we go. And so she has a really short tail. Mm -hmm. So I get my finger there. They are mostly body. Their mm -hmm. organs are just all long. All long. long. All right. Um, I don't know where. Has anybody seen Ladybug? Yeah. 
She made her way she, out the room. No, she's over by like the play. Okay, cool. Play. She's still in here. Yeah. So one that I also always get is that turtles just leave their shell when they get bigger. They do not. So turtle shells are part of their body. Their bones are in their shells. So if you find a turtle shell and think, oh, the turtle just left to go find a bigger shell, it's really just a dead turtle. Sorry. And they're not hermit crabs. They're not hermit crabs. <laughs> um, another one that I actually enjoy is that snakes go blind in the summer. This has some truth to well, it. It's not really called a butt, though, is it? No. What is it called? A cloaca. I'm oh sorry. I'm used to working with children. I do love so when I say <laughs> <laughs> So when I say cloaca to them, they're like, what's that? So I use term now you can, butt. I'm sorry. Or bottom. Now you can insult somebody intelligently. You know, cloaca. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. I'm just going to stop right now. Oh, goodness. Okay. What was I saying? Something about snakes? I don't know. <laughs> I don't remember anymore. Oh, snakes go blind in the summer. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, so there's a little bit of truth to that, but mainly just misinformation. So when snakes shed, they have skin over their eyes that they are going to shed as well. So when they shed, it turns blue, which I don't have these snakes that are shedding right now. And so that does impair their vision a little bit. People think it's in the summer because most snakes would be eating a lot in the summer and then shedding in the summer. Mm -hmm. Our snakes shed all year long because they never really don't have food. So, it, there's some truth to it, but it's not, yeah. Except for whippersnapper, she is blind. Except for whippersnapper. So, wake up is also Latin for sewer. Makes sense, thank you. <laughs> I've got, Laura, thank you. <laughs> I'm trying to keep a straight face here, but it's not working. Oh, good. I've got so much going on on the, on the perimeter here that... Uh, <laughs> What's right. another one I have? <laughs> this one I read and I just died laughing. I guess it's just because of my age. I don't know. But milk snakes will grab onto a cow's udder and drink milk. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh yeah, you haven't seen that before? Why called milk snakes. <laughs> That's really why they're called milk snakes, is because people thought that they drank cow's milk. So the best I can understand this is that when they were discovered, they were seen around cow farms a lot. So people thought, oh, well, they're here to drink that cow's milk, but snakes can't suck, so no, they're not. I don't know if maybe one snake said, ooh, that looks like a mouse, and bit the poor cow. Yeah. Or maybe the cow stepped on it. And the snake bit. Yeah. I just really want to know the story. Mm -hmm. do, do you know this? Or are you just... Well, you know, <laughs> I mean, conceivably, they... Those little udders could look like pinkies. Exactly. So maybe, you know... I mean, you know, just... <laughs> <laughs> but if the snake, if the milk snake was found around the cow, it's probably because if you're on a farm, there's lots of mice. And if you're a milk snake and you know what a milk snake looks like, they're red and bright. And we don't have one. We do have long nose, which kind of, they're red at least. But they're a lot easier to see than if you saw this one out in the wild or this one out in the wild. Are you okay over there? I haven't had enough coffee for this. <laughs> so they'd probably be easier to see, so they'd probably think, oh, milk snakes like to hang around cows. Uh, I'd like to give a shout out to Deb Goodrich. I'll work on that project as soon as I can. Uh, we'll talk about that later. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I think, I think you know, when you see people they say, man, say, snakes suck. You can say with mm -hmm. certainty that no, they no, don't. They don't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. All right. What other little myths do I have? Okay, there's, we talked about the triangle head, meaning venomous, but coral snakes don't. And there's also the slanted eye, the elliptical eye, means venomous snake. So one thing that always killed me when I was learn in herpetology, learning how to identify snakes, is if you are scared of snakes or lizards, are you really going to pick it up to count its scales and say, oh, no, you're this type of garter snake, or no, you're this type of skink, or are you just going to run the other way? So people who are like, oh, let me let me see your eyeballs. Yeah, let me see. Oh, those are rounded. Yeah. Here, okay. oh. you're not venomous. Let me get close enough oh, to see that. Oh, look at that. Black <laughs> mambas have round eyes, and you know, I'm not gonna get close enough to one and be like, oh, are you venomous? Hello. Oh, why did I you? Oh, I missed you. I don't know. I think I saw Kobe Bryant. He used to have slanted eyes. He was the black mamba. So. What? 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 Kobe Bryant black was the black mamba. I think he had slanty eyes too. Uh, it was a whole ba it was a basketball uh, reference. Uh, yeah. uh, uh, 
All right, I think the last one I have, okay, two more actually. This one, snakes are deaf. So I was, they don't have ears, they don't have external ears. Um, they feel vibrations through the ground and they can use their tongue as well. But I read something that said, they're just gonna go around my neck, just gonna go around my neck, hi, thank you. Is that they can't hear high frequencies, but if there's low frequencies they can hear. So I tested this out on my personal snake at home and I yelled at her and she, I, about peed my pants when she did it. She's just slithering on. I screamed her name and then she just looks at me. I'm like, okay. <laughs> but no, they feel vibrations. They do not have the external ears to hear us scream at them. But they still know if the kids are screaming in the discovery room at them. Yeah. And they're scared. Especially that one. <laughs> she likes to play Cobra when kids are Oh, uh, little hog nose. And then the last one I have is cotton mouths, and I guess all water snakes in general, can't bite underwater. <laughs> Being water snakes and cotton mouths, where its name literally means fish eater, the fish aren't just hopping out of the water so the snakes can eat them. So they can bite underwater. I feel sorry for the first person that, oh, that cotton mouth can't bite me underwater. I'm just gonna continue to swim. <laughs> and I got bit underwater. But yes, they can bite underwater. Where do you go? Places. Places, stuff and things. Thank you. Do not put a bull snake around your neck. It's, it's not a good idea. <coughs> They're strong. But that is all the myths that I found. Do you guys know of any? Or do you guys have any questions? I don't know. Are there questions? If there are any questions from out in audience hand. land, please put them in our uh, in our. Comments. Comments. We do have a, do bull snakes really eat other snakes or just mice? Um, I know you kind of talked about they that. They don't eat bulls. No, they don't. So they are, are oh, somebody say the word for me, opportunistic. Yeah. Opportunistic. <sighs> it's hard. So they eat lots of things, but they don't typically eat other snakes, and neither do rat snakes. People think that rat snakes eat other creatures, so mice, birds. So like rats? I was talking about bull snakes. Oh, okay. You know, she's not going to be able to eat any of the rats that I have. She eats mice. I always want to call her Buddy. I know. This is Buddy's daughter. For those Technically, of you this is Buddy's son, probably. Shh, don't, don't do that to me. <laughs> okay, it's a girl. this is Buddy's daughter. Yes, this is Buddy's daughter. I just made her a girl when I started working here, so. Yeah, well, now, now I'm questioning everything. Thank you. You're welcome. Well. She's 20, and she is significantly smaller than Buddy was. She's probably a boy. And since she trying to have some fun with him, uh. I think something happened. I, I thought I could. Laura, you know what you did. I want to see. No, what is he? That is all we have today, folks. <laughs> <laughs> so Laura wants us to find out what it is. Yeah, I should be able to figure so, that out. To find out, we usually just okay, well. poke. The, I'm not doing it. <laughs> Go ahead. Nope. You usually poke the cloaca, its bottom, and it'll <laughs> stick something out that can tell you. <laughs> I only have one snake that I know for sure what it is. Do they have? Hemipenes? They, they do. They have hemipenes. This snake right here, I don't know if you can see our beautiful prairie king snake. When we got him, he was oh, so he terrified of us that he stuck out his hemipenae and rubbed them all over my arm. I took it as a compliment. That's <laughs> she for texting me, Laura. <laughs> As you can see, we are just ready to be around. <laughs> oh, we did. Ian is actually physically crying. He's dead. Oh, I just have, I have to show my some of my favorite snakes. Is this your favorite snake? I like the garter snakes. Yes. His name's Crazy Snake. He is crazy. He is crazy. <laughs> One time he was eating. Was great. <laughs> and he swallowed the mouse backwards. Yeah, he's good at that. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> All right, well, if anybody has any questions or... We're gonna have to resuscitate Ian oh, here. Oh, my stomach yeah. hurts. <laughs> He's gonna throw up. He's gonna die. But this is the last time you'll see Ian. He's crying from laughter. It's like Monty Python. 
<laughs> but that is all the myths that I have. All right. So, <laughs> from the dome, saying sayonara to home, we will see you again. We're we gonna see somebody at two. Or no. Stop it. <laughs> Probably not. So maybe not at two. Not at two. So everyone enjoy the rest of their Friday. So have a great weekend, everybody, and we will see you Monday. Bye. Bye. Bye.